Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. They're Sooty and Sweet. And of course, Sue. And little cousin Cam. They'll be fun galore with the terrible horn. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ninety-two, seventy-six, twelve-ty-four. No, no, sweep. You're doing it all wrong. Anyway, there's no such number as twelve-ty-four. Now I'll have to start all over again. You're just trying to help. Oh, oh. oh hi, you two. Uh, what are you up to? Well, sweep and I are counting our holiday fund money, but he keeps messing it up. Yeah, well, you yeah, do. All right, all right, all right <laughs> Sue, Sue, Sue. I'm sure that Sweep is trying to help in his own special way. Oh, hi, Sooty. Yeah, good idea. So she says that he'll count the money, and that way there will be no arguing. Good idea. Let's pass it up here. You know, I've got a feeling that any second now we're going to get an exact up the minute total down to the last penny. Go on then, Sooty. Count the money. Go on. Got it? Good. Right, let's have the exact up the minute total down to the last penny. How much is there? Not enough. What do you mean not enough? What's the matter? Some of the money's missing. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so, Sooty. I mean, after all, this money's been kept in that great big old piggy bank. I mean, it's impossible to get into that thing, really. <laughs> unless you've got a hammer. You, you see, unless you've got... Oh, no. No, sweet, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You did. What did you want to go and do a thing like that for, Sweep? <laughs> you wanted to get the money out? So you could count it? I should have guessed, really, shouldn't I? I told him not to. Yeah, all right, so, well, listen, I can't stay around here helping you, love, because I've got to go to a sale in Bristol. Put that down. I've got to go to a sale and I've got to get the train. Uh, that's the hammer. You see, you see that's the hammer. Sooty. Sooty, please. Would you put that thing down? Oh, look, this don't do that oh, for goodness. Oh, hey. sorry, Richard. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, you missed me. I hope you don't mind. I came in the back way. Your door wasn't locked. Oh, yes, exactly. We've got to get that lock fixed. The door's not working properly. Yes, we don't want complete strangers wandering in. Exactly. So, oh, no, no, no. Richard's not a complete stranger. He looks strange to you. Well, he does not look strange to me. <laughs> well, uh, apart from uh, the... Oh, the, the, <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Do you know, I had a bit of trouble with my hair this morning. I think I must have slept funny. Yes, in a dustbin, Sweep. Uh, thank you, Sue. Uh, that's enough, thank you, Sweep. So, this is Richard, and he's going to come and work in the shop for me. Hello. Hello. Good. Right, well, uh, I've got to be on my way, OK? And so Richard is in charge. I want you not to behave, and Sweep can start by putting that hammer down now. Go! <laughs> Go! See you later. Bye. Uh, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, uh, bye, Matthew. Bye. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I think you've upset him. Me? <laughs> there we are. Finished. Um, oh, it looks different. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think I quite had all the bits. Uh, anyway, Sue, how's your holiday fund money going? Has any been taken? Uh, no, we just didn't have much there in the first place. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, I'm afraid that if we want a good holiday this year, we're going to have to earn some money. Yeah, you could be right there, Sue. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. I suppose I'd better put this money back in the piggy bank. Hey, what's this? Looks like a foreign coin. Yep, it's French. Do you know, this must be quite old because it's uh, got Napoleon's head on it. <laughs> no, not his actual head, because you wouldn't get a thing like a person's actual head on a small thing like a coin. I'll prove it. Look, see? <laughs> oh, Sooty, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> Dusting for prints. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, what are you doing? <laughs> Hoovering for prints? Who are you meant to be, anyway? Sherlock Sooty and Dr. Watsit. <laughs> oh, right. The famous detectives. Oh, I should have uh, realised that, of course, from your clothes. What are you doing now? You're a sniffer dog as well. Hmm, lovely. And you're investigating the, um, <laughs> stolen money, I suppose. So I better come quietly. I'm not going to come quietly. I haven't taken any money. Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that! And in fact, nobody has taken any money, and you can check with Sue if you don't believe me. Eh? Hey? Oh, you do believe me? Because oh, I've got an honest face. <laughs> and silly hair. I've not got silly hair! 
I told you, I just must have slept funny, that's all. Anyway, listen, Sue tells me that this is all the money you've got for your holiday. So if you want to get some more, you're going to have to earn some. Yes, oh. Uh-oh. I've just had a brainwave. No, it's not what made my hair go funny. Look, can we just leave my hair out of this? I was just thinking that if you two are so keen to earn money and be detectives, why don't you set up your own detective agency? Now, that way, you could charge people money for solving their crimes. Yeah, do you know, it could be brilliant, because everybody needs a... a... Well, they've gone. Was that something I said? Sherlock Sooty. Crime solved while you wait. <laughs> That's my new friend, Liana. She's helping out in the shop, too. Isn't she great? Oh, hi, Liana. Hi, Sue. Hello. What's this all about? Oh, it's Sooty and Sweet's latest money-making scheme. They've started a detective agency, but I don't think it's going too well. <laughs> Why? How many customers have they had so far? Um, none. Oh, dear. Poor Sooty and Sweet. Of course. What they really need is a big crime to solve. Then they'll become really famous detectives and everybody will want to hire them. <gasps> yes, good idea. And I think I know how they can do it. Oh, dear. I've got a feeling that I've started something. Me and my big mouth. Leona had given me a good idea. And all I had to do was find Sooty and Sweep. I found them in the bathroom, practicing their detective work. Hey, I've had a great idea to really put your detective agency on the map, boys. <laughs> on the mat? No, not on the mat, the map. Listen, you need to solve a really big crime and make yourselves famous. That way, you'll get loads of work. <laughs> yes, and loads of cash. Yeah, I know there aren't any crimes to solve, Sooty. That's why we'll have to invent one. How? Well, the first thing we need is somebody to commit the crime. And I think I know somebody who is just right for the job. So, uh, do you understand the plan, then, Scampi? Oh, dear. All right, I'll explain it one more time. Now, listen carefully. We need you to pretend to steal something so that Sooty and Sweet can get it back and become famous detectives and make lots of money. Now, do you understand? Oh, good. But remember, you don't actually have to steal anything. Just hide something and Sooty will find it. It might be better to try and hide something small. Thank you. Uh, come again. Yeah. Hmm. 15p. Not bad, eh, for a morning's work? And so far, no disasters. Do you know, I think Matthew's going to be very pleased he's left me in charge of the shop. I think I deserve five minutes with the newspaper now. Right. Let's see what's on telly tonight. <laughs> what? What's going on? going to commit his crime very soon, I hope. Uh, what are you boys doing exactly? <laughs> Solving a mystery? What mystery? <laughs> Richard's wig? Are you sure he's wearing a wig? <laughs> oh, I see. And how are you going to find out? Oh, don't tell me. You're going to try and fish it off his head. <laughs> oh, look at this. A 14-pound trout's been caught in the River Irwell. You know, I could never see the point of fishing myself. It's not working. Of course it's not working. Fishing lines are for fish. There aren't any fish down there. Now, if Richard had a fish on his head, that fishing line might go after it. But as it is, um, I don't think that's a very good idea, Sotty. What's... Oh. Uh, hello, uh, Sotty and Co. Uh, Matthew! No, no, no. Everything's fine, fine, fine. What's that? The sale's going on longer than you thought, so you won't be back until tomorrow. No, no, I'm sure I can cope. I hope. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I, I tell you what, I'll make a list, then I won't forget anything. I'll just get my pen. Thank you. OK, Matthew, fire away. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute, I'll need my notepad too. Thank you very much. OK, right then. What do you want me to do? Yeah, you want all those uh, tins moving out in the back yard? Yep. And they're the ones in the bedroom, aren't they? Yes, I can do that too. And uh, where are those tools? Oh, yes, yes, I know the ones you mean. Sort those out. Right, won't forget that. And the right. paint. The I'm paint. Off now. The... Oh, hang on just a minute, Matthew. Uh, Liana, it's Matthew. Do you want a word? Oh, uh, just tell him I said hi and that I'm popping the stuff round to the charity shop like he asked me to. Oh, right. Oh, they should do very well selling that lot, shouldn't they? <laughs> uh, uh, Matthew, Liana says hi and she's just off to the charity shop. Yeah, right. Oh, right, yes. Um, 
He says you can have those old encyclopedias. They're on the stairs. Oh, OK. Right. right. OK, yeah, it's all written down. I'll do that. Don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Oh, what a nice man. And he's given all this lot to charity. Brilliant. Where did that come from? Do you know, I've heard of it raining cats and dogs, but never fish. Uh, uh, right. Off now, Richard. Mm. See right. you later. OK, Liana. Yeah, I'll see you later on. Bye. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look up here, shall we? Ah, Richard's coming. <laughs> You're ready for him, <laughs> mm, so I can see. <laughs> right. What's this hole doing in the ceiling? Uh, it's not a hole in the ceiling. It's a hole in the floor. Well, it looks pretty much like a hole in the ceiling from here. Well, it looks like a hole in the floor from here. Well, either way, Sue, it's very dangerous. Why is it? Well, somebody might fall down it. What? Fall down a hole in the ceiling? <laughs> They'd have to be walking upside down. Eh? Uh, uh, look, I'm just trying to be efficient. After all, I am in charge, you know. Well, almost. But what I do know is if Matthew thought I'd found a hole that wasn't there, he'd expect me to look into it. What? Look into a hole that wasn't there? Why would he want to do that? <laughs> I should have kept him talking. I would have done, but he was talking nonsense. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's gone! Hooray! Stamp his dummy stuff. Come on, come on! Now, now, calm down, Richard, and tell us what happened. Well, it's my notepad mm -hmm. with all my instructions on from Matthew. Well, I had it, and then it was... Stolen! Oh, no! Well, no, I shouldn't think it's been stolen. Never fear. Sherlock Sooty is here. Oh, this is serious. And so is Sherlock Sooty. He'll find your notepad and the villain that took it. Oh. <laughs> Aha! What did I tell you? <laughs> You've caught the villain? <laughs> and what about a reward? <laughs> what do you want? Well, <laughs> he says he didn't do it. Of course he did. Well, he says he didn't. Well, of course he does. That's how we know he did it. Because well, he says he didn't. Uh, Sue, I think we need to be absolutely certain before we start accusing people. Uh, what do you think, um, Sherlock? Hey, that's a good idea. Sherlock says he thinks we should have a police lineup. A what? A police lineup, sweet. That's where they put the baddie. In this case, Scampy. Listen, you're not fooling anybody, Scampy. It's where they put the baddie and some other people in a line. Well, let's do it. Uh, now what do we do? Um, I'm not sure. What are you all doing? There's nobody in the shop. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just that my notepad's been... been stolen. Well, possibly stolen. It's just that... And Scampy did it. And this police line-up will prove it. <gasps> If this is meant to be a police lineup, it's not very fair. Everybody in a police lineup should look like each other. Mm. Oh, no problem. Uh, now what? I think we should discuss the reward. <laughs> Yes, a big one. Very big. Hang on, no one's going to get a reward until I get my notepad back. <clears throat> then the prisoner must be stuck in jug until he coughs. What? Oh, that's police language. It means lock him up until he confesses. I saw it in a film. No, oh, it must have been a very odd film. Right, boys, stick him in jug. <laughs> well, what's so important about this notepad anyway, Richard? Well, it's just there's this whole list of things on it that Matthew wants me to get done before he gets back tomorrow. Without that notepad, I'm completely scuppered. I could lose my job and I've hardly started no, it. No, I shouldn't think Matthew will mind that much. Anyway, it's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah. I'll help you look for it and then we can all do the jobs together. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> well, has the prisoner coughed yet? No, but I think I've heard him sneeze a couple of times. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Well, hi. This chair does not make a good bed, but I agreed to stop over and help Richard look after Sooty and the others. I think he finds them a bit of a handful. Get it? Handful? I don't think I'll ever get to sleep. Maybe a drink of milk will help. I'll have to try not to disturb the others. We turned the place upside down, but we couldn't find Richard's notepad. It's a mystery. What's that? There's a light on in the shop. Strange. Come on. Scampy? What are you doing in there? I suppose the 
others have put you behind bars until you confess to taking Richard's notepad. Well, at least the bars are chocolate bars. You could have eaten your way out. Oh, looks like you tried. Now I suppose you feel so sick that you can't move. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't believe you took that notepad. The question is, who did? And what have they done with it now? Shh! What's that? Quick, hide! Oh, you can't, can you? Sorry. Somebody's pushed something through the door. Look! I wonder what it is. It's Richard's notepad. But how? Look, Scampy, there's a note with it. I thought this might be important. Signed, Mrs. K. Wellsbury. Who's Mrs. K. Wellsbury? Oh, no! She's the lady from the charity shop. And I've just realised who stole Richard's notepad. We've got you surrounded. Don't move and put your hands up. How? How what? How can I put my hands up without moving? Liana? Yeah? Aha! Two villains. That means twice the reward. Plus bonus. Yes, and bonus. I'm sorry, but nobody's getting bones, bonus or a reward. Why not? Because nobody's done anything wrong. But Scamp has confessed. No, he hasn't. He will if I tickle him with a feather. <sighs> I think he's been tortured enough by trying to eat his way out of jail. It's my fault your notepad went missing. It got mixed up with the charity shop stuff. But they've sent it back. Oh, Here. oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Oh, no. Oh, what's the matter now? Oh, look at all these things. I'll never get them done before Matthew gets back. No, you won't. No, no. but we will. Come on, everybody. Do we get bones? No, we do not get bones. No, but you can have chocolate. <laughs> Richard around? Oh, he's around here somewhere. Good. And what about the others? Have they been behaving themselves? Oh, they've been as good as gold. You'd hardly know they were here. Really? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I must say it all sounds almost too good to be true. I must go away more often. Bye-bye, <sighs> everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. 